Hey everyone, I'm Tommy Cherry, and today I'll be teaching Timon how to solve clock using the seven simul method. Our goal for today is to have him do one solve without my help by the end of the video using seven simul. Um, shall we begin? Yeah. So, I think the best way for us to do this is that I just scramble it up and then we just go through. I'll show you how to do it on an actual scramble because it's just the process you're gonna use like every time. Okay, so. It really doesn't matter which orientation you're holding it from. Yeah. Uh, so just start from a random orientation, right? So you're gonna look at these two down here. So the bottom mm -hmm. edge and the right edge. You're pretty much gonna see what this one has to do to get to here. So yeah, like what? Is, uh, six, right? Yeah. Now you're gonna flip it over and then look at these two. Mm -hmm. What does this one have to do to get to here? Uh, minus two. Yeah, so then add those two together. Uh, so four. Yeah. Okay, so four is our first move. <clears throat> now, we're gonna see what this has to do to get to here. Uh, it's minus four, right? Yep, and then what this has to do to get to here. And minus one? Yeah, so, so that's four. minus five? No, 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 it's just its okay. own thing. So okay. four minus four minus one. Okay. Now from this angle, we're literally gonna do the same thing we just did. So look at, look at these same clocks again, uh, but okay. now that we're on the other side, right? Yeah, so one. And then this to uh, here. Uh, that's minus one, so, so zero. At, yep, so zero, and then to here. Uh, so minus two. Yep. And then uh, plus four. So it's negative four. Negative four. Oh, is, yeah. Okay. And it's standalone. So it's zero, minus two, and minus four? Yeah. yeah. Um, okay. So like I low-key forgot already. It was, uh, <laughs> it was four, negative four, negative one, and then zero, minus two, minus four. It's over. Okay. How do you remember that? Basically, it's Six numbers, six numbers. Yeah. And like the best way to do it is to like convert them to letters. But like, <laughs> if the thing is, since you don't already have a letter per system, we're just gonna stick with numbers. Okay. When I said the goal for this video, I didn't say with you inspecting under 15 seconds. Okay. So you could also just like memo part of it, execute part of it, flip it over, memorize <laughs> that's, the rest. that's cheating, that's cheating. <laughs> okay. And then we have to have like a specific pin position. So this is what it is when we start out. So all of them up except for this one. Uh huh. And then, so our first two things were four and negative four, okay? So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do the four with our left hand and the negative four with our right hand. Okay. So is the second move always the inverse of the first one? But no, 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 it was, no. This just happened to be okay. inverses. Put this one down. Yeah. And then our, so with our left hand, we're gonna do an intuitive move. Yeah. We're gonna match this edge up with this edge. Okay. Um, and do our third n uh, number with this hand, which was a negative one, I believe. Okay. And by the way, like it's really confusing now, but when we flip it over, we're gonna do the exact same thing for the second half of the solve. So I think it'll make more sense. Yeah. Put this down. We're just, this next whole move is intuitive. We're just making this whole block. So like uh, yeah. bottom right block. And we got to do this, adjust the diagonal ones, flip it. Okay, thankfully we did it from the right orientation, so that's good. Yeah. Um, it was zero, two, negative four for the second half. Was Again. it not zero, negative two? You're right, you're right. Yeah, okay, zero, negative two, negative four. So we'll do the zero with our left hand and then the negative two with our right hand. Okay. Put this down. With our left hand, match these. Yeah. And with our right hand, do the last one, the negative four. Okay. And then, okay, we actually just straight up got to skip. Because like, Normally, we would have to do something from this pin position to like make this whole block in the bottom right, but like we just got lucky. Um, Wait, which block? So this two by two block okay. in the bottom yeah. right. Yeah. And which pin would you do that with for the bottom Making right? the block? Yeah. From this pin position. Yeah. So we would match the center with these using our left hand and okay. use our right hand to match the corner. Yeah. By the way, the good thing about this method, you never have to turn a D dial. It's always the yeah. top ones. And then this is like the AUF of clock. We're just. With the diagonal pins up, we're just aligning everything. What? Okay. That like makes sense. Sure. Yeah. Um, okay. Now I'll we'll just like take it from the top, I guess, because obviously you won't remember that just from one example. Yeah. Um, like I need to memorize the order of like yeah. what to turn. Uh, honestly, like we could just do it like with the clock being solved, because you just have to know like which pieces yeah. are involved in each move. So, do you happen to remember what it is for the first move? So you go like this. Oh, oh I just mean before even execution, just memo. Like, do you want to? Oh, okay, do... I don't remember what okay. you did for memo. Okay. So this to this. Yeah. So this to this. Flip it over. Yeah. And then and then this to this. This to this. And you add those okay. two things together. Yeah. And then you go like this. Yep. And then like this. Yeah. And, and then. Those are separate. Yeah. From this angle, you'll so literally wait. do the same thing. So you go. What do you do at the start? This to this. 
Like that, and flip, and then like this, or, um, or up? Up. Okay, so you go down, and then up. Mm -hmm. And add those together. Yeah. Okay. And then from this angle, you'll literally just do the same thing. So like, just to, yeah. Yeah, that, so that, and then flip over again. Yep. So then up, and then this one is. Yep, okay. and then you'll start executing from this angle. Okay. So then our first pin position, yep. So what are our moves from this position? Well, so our first one would be uh, this to this. Right. Well, like I said, like based on it. what we memo. So, like yeah, with yeah. your left hand, you'll do the first number, and with your right hand, you'll do the second number. Yeah. Okay. Do you know what our next pin position would be? You yeah. put this down, and then uh, same thing. So this is third, and this is. So fourth, no, no, no. Right this is third. This one's actually intuitively um, just matching these two edges. Uh, which two? Uh, bottom and right. Okay. So you just turn these. So it matches yeah. this. Yeah. Okay. And then third move with with, with um, your right hand. Yeah. And then from this pin position, you'll make the bottom right block. Right. And do you not turn with your left hand at all? You do, because like this won't necessarily be matching with these. So, oh, like, so then you have to match this center. Yeah. So with your left hand, you'll be adjusting the center. With your right hand, you'll be adjusting this corner. Okay. And then you kind of flip two of the pins diagonally. Uh, so I'd probably recommend uh, adjusting the pins before you flip, like put this up and put this down. Yeah. Now we're gonna do the same exact thing. So how many numbers per side is it, if you remember? Like, three. once you're executing. Like you execute three of your memorized numbers, flip it, execute your other three memorized okay. numbers. And the rest of the solve is intuitive. Yeah, so this would be numbers one and two. Like, yep. one, and then this is two. Yep. On, on the second or side. Or like, but, yeah. fourth and fifth, but yeah, you yeah, know yeah. what you're saying. Uh, and then you put this down, and then this is your number, and this is intuitive? Um, yes. Okay. And then you put this down, and then it's both intuitive. So you match yep. this to these two, and the corner to these two. Yes. And then your last thing is like AUF. So then you put this up. Yeah. And you I think you got it already. Like, I think you're ready to <laughs> do it all. That is so hard. OK, well, let's Here, try I'll, scramble I'll... again. So I go here to here, which is minus 4, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. And then I flip. Mm -hmm. OK. Then I go up here, which is uh, minus four again. Is that minus Not quite. three? Minus three. Okay. Oh yeah. How, how do you add it up when it's past six? So it becomes negative seven, right? Yeah. So then you just add twelve to it. Cause like you okay. offset it by well, twelve. It's just a one, right? No. So you have negative seven, right? Yeah. Okay. So that becomes Small a five, one. cause that's twelve away from five. Think about it on like a number line. Like negative seven is like seven in the yeah, left yeah. direction. Adding 12 it, to it is like a full 360 degree orbit around. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I see. Like for just for example, let's say you had a negative eight. Yeah. Well, that would be four. Okay. You got yeah. it. Yeah. It's just harder when it's seven. <laughs> like, like, <laughs> okay. I'm not that good at adding numbers. I mean, okay. Yeah. I mean, with, with, uh, yeah. within a few solves, you'll like start to see the same <laughs> yeah, thing come yeah. up over and over again and yeah. then it'll make more okay. sense. Okay. So the first two are, they add up to seven. Yeah, they got five. Yeah, yeah, five. And then you go uh, here to here, which mm -hmm. is two. And then you have this, which is minus two. Yep. Just don't forget things. Yeah. <laughs> so you have five, two, and minus two. Yeah. Five, two, minus two. Okay. And then you go five, flip, and then minus three. Mm -hmm. So that's two. Mm -hmm. Then you go like that, minus five. Okay, so two minus five, and then minus three. Yeah. Two minus five minus three. And it was the first side. Minus five, three. two, minus two. Five, two, minus two. Okay, how do you memorize six numbers though? Um, <laughs> this is very hard. I think since you're just learning right now, just like brute force it, just like review it a lot of times. <laughs> okay, I can try that. <laughs> you're gonna need to remember it for me though. So, five, two, minus two. Five, two, minus two, and then two, five, Two minus five. Two minus five minus three? Yeah. Five, two, minus two, and then two minus five minus three. Yeah. Okay, sure. <laughs> and I have to remember what to turn as well. This is crazy. <laughs> five, two, minus two, you said. So now minus two is with this hand. Yeah. And then I have to match up all this. It's the this edge with this edge. This edge. With this. Okay. Oh, there's another intuitive move. Mm -hmm. So you go like that, and you go. Good. Yeah. Okay. 
Uh, well, probably just adjust the pins first. Uh, like, right. and put that one, put the, yeah. Yeah. Five, two, minus two, next two, minus five. Two, minus five. Mm -hmm. uh, minus three, so. Okay. Try not to use your thumb. You don't need to at all. <laughs> oh, wait, yeah, I can just do that with this, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm done. Uh, no, no, you're not. You have to do the AUF. It's, it's solved upside down. Like, it's solved oh, at six right. o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> Diagonal pins up. Yeah. Like that? Okay. So you have to use both hands? Yep. Yep. And it's solved. Nice. That's crazy. <laughs> okay. Uh, can you scramble it again? Let's do it. <laughs> I'm going to need a cheeky clock. Come on, saying needing a chi cube card on camera. <laughs> I mean, it's the only clock. Yeah, no, fair <laughs> enough. Like, I use it. <laughs> okay, so. You go plus three, minus five, that gives you minus two, zero, five, minus two, zero, five, minus two, zero, five, minus two, zero, five. Do the same thing again. So plus four, flip, minus one, so that's three, minus two. Mm, plus two. Oh. oh yeah, plus two, and then minus two. Mm -hmm. Three, two, minus two, three, two, minus two. Okay, and I forgot the first side. <laughs> no, it was minus two, zero, five, right? Okay. Minus two, zero, five, three, two, minus two. Yep. Okay. So minus two and zero, and then it's five. So five, and you match this up. Okay. No, this, okay. Then intuitive move, so you go like that. Mm -hmm. Flip. Bro. Uh, uh, you want to adjust? Yeah. Like that. There yep. <laughs> okay. And then I have three, two, and negative two. So you go three, two, uh, negative two. Match these up. Mm. No, oh, right, no, the edge I'm with confusing the edge. it. Yeah. yeah. And then intuitive move like that. And AUF. Well, no. You got it right. You just got to oh, solve yeah, to like 12 o'clock. Ah, I see. So you just do both of them to here. Yes. That's crazy. Nice. Okay. Improvement by like 25 seconds. Yeah, I think on this next one, you'll, prob <laughs> you'll probably be able to do it just without my help at all. <laughs> yeah, maybe. The memo is really Getting difficult. Really close. Yeah, that's the thing. So how do you convert it to letters, like, optimally? So I wouldn't recommend trying to do that today because yeah, like, yeah. you have to, like, come up with letter pairs. But, like, it really depends. Like, there are a bunch of different systems you can use. The way I do it is, like, one, two, three, four, five, six is A, B, C, D, E, F. And then negative five is the same thing as seven. So that's G. Negative okay. four is eight, so H, up until K. But then for a zero, I just use O, because O, zero looks like an O. Sure, interesting. And then you like just make letter pairs out of it. Yeah. I'm gonna try to not say anything. <laughs> yeah. Should I point something out if you do something wrong? No, I'll okay. try doing it on my own. Uh, not quite. <laughs> Alright, what did I mess up? If, um, if you're away. I think you were supposed to do a negative two and did a negative three. Okay. For like your second letter, or second number. And I couldn't tell what your memo was supposed to be for the second half of the solve, so maybe you made another mistake there, I'm not okay. entirely sure. Sure. But like, we seem to just about have the process down. <laughs> yep. Shall I scramble back up? Yeah. So when you're doing it, and you're turning, uh, you know like how many hours you're moving it without looking at it, right? If it's a big move like a five or a six, I often have to, you know, look at it while I'm doing it because it's kind of risky if I'm not looking because I'm just not entirely sure whether I'm doing like a four, five, six, maybe even overturning and do a seven. So yeah, yeah for big moves, it's pretty helpful to nice. like be looking at a clock that's affected directly by the move. Yeah. Time of your inspection. There's another small mistake or two. Yeah. 
I um I think one of your first three letters was off like you did it something off by a tick. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if it was. I wasn't minimum. sure if I did three or four or two. So just like yeah. I like just turn slowly if you're going <laughs> to like do a song, right? Just yeah. like be very safe with your turn. Sure. It's like from two by two and three by three, my first instinct is that if I have something planned, I need to turn like fast mm. since I already know what I'm doing. So I just like sent it and then I was like, oh wait, that's probably wrong. Yeah, it's just precision is so much more of a big deal in clock. Yeah. All right, that did not work. I saw at least one instance where you overturned. Uh, okay. On your last letter, it was supposed to be a J, I or negative <laughs> two. You did a negative three. Okay. Hmm. Mistake. Oh yeah. I don't know which one, it, which move it was. I just know because uh, when you flip okay. it, yeah. uh, this should this be a two by two. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Don't just start. Okay. Um, your Jesus. third move. Your third move should have been a negative one, and you did a one. <laughs> what? <laughs> Did you get it? Wait, it literally would have been solved. I got it, but I didn't AUF properly. <laughs> Just stop the timer before finishing the turn. A true sign of a competitive clocker. <laughs> I mean, I think that counts. I think you, yeah. you accomplished that. That's all. a good place to end it. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. That oh was your fastest God. inspection too, I think. <laughs> this is probably the only yeah. one under a minute. 59.3 and good. just barely under a minute. So. Okay, so what's my reward for doing all this? Oh, nice. Yeah, it'll be 30 bucks. What?